welcome to my youtube channel i also plan to do drawing so now i'm going to be showing you guys on how to do your elevations in archicad okay um just make your elevations black and white okay in archicad um without any further ado let's just get right into the business as you can see guys i'm i'm done with my um 3d designs of this particular drawing so i can go ahead and work in the in the, uh, in the elevation section okay and uh, for me to work in the elevation section you can just come to the ground floor right here and uh, as you can see this is my approach view so i'm just going to double click on the approach view and uh, this is the look of the approach view as you can see uh, let me just yeah so this is the look of the approach view so this is what akikad actually gives me this is actually akikad black and white drawing okay so you don't have to do any editing by yourself you just have to change you do a little bit of a uh, few changes and you should be good okay so let's go to the ground floor and um i'm gonna notice that i still have this south elevation here so if you check the south elevation your south elevation should be giving you something like this so if you double click on the on the south elevation here we're gonna be having something like this so this is what kcat gave us initially and this is what you should be having on your plan okay and the, on your elevation rather okay so we don't want this like uh, uh this kind of elevations if you go to the approach view you're gonna look that uh this is actually this is actually what we want okay because it's gonna be better on the black and white drawing okay so how do we get here so let's go to the ground floor so I'm just going to I'm just going to show you guys what you guys are, what you guys need to do, okay? I'm just going to delete this ones I've made. And you can decide to also delete um, this south elevation, okay? And the rest of the elevations because we have to make new elevations now. So uh, what you do is under view, under viewpoint here, yeah? click on the elevation tool here, yeah? okay? And what you just have to do is just click, click. Then you want to you want to show which side you want to you want the elevation to be seen. Okay, this is where I want the elevation to be seen. Let's go. So I'm just gonna click, and it's gonna give me it's gonna give me EO one. Okay, so if you double click on the EO one, you should be having something like this. So yeah, you should be having something like this. This is just the this is just what the what the south elevation gave us initially okay it just it just gave us something exactly like this okay so there's no difference between this and this okay so what we want to do is we want to make this new elevation that we brought in we want to change it to our own kind of elevation okay so what you want to do is i'm just going to make another kind of elevations so i'm just going to hold on all select this elevation line or you can call me and select the uh select the elevation tool again and just click click then click this side okay click 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 this side then click 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 this side too okay so the next thing you guys want to do now is you want to rename the sides okay because we don't want this eo1 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 everywhere so we want to rename the side so you want to click this and uh, come here and change the name to be approach view you guys can change any name that you guys normally use when you guys are working as you can see this is approach view so you want to click this and so make this one to be the left side view so once you've accomplished that the next thing you guys want to do now is uh you want to uh go to the approach view when you guys look at the elevation the, we know that we, want, we don't want the elevation to be transparent okay we don't want the elevation to be transparent and stuff okay so what you want to do now is remember we're actually working with the elevation that we actually we actually put in put in here from this okay 
So this is elevation actually working with the approach view. Okay, you can decide to delete the rest of the elevations that's needed the north, south, east, and west. So double click on the approach view. What you want to do next now is right click and click on elevation settings. Now what I want you to do next now is okay. I'm going to leave this the cut element. I'm going to leave it like this. Then the cut fill is going to be cut fill non shaded. Okay. Then the uniform cut pens. You're going to actually select it. Okay. Now it's going to bring out all this stuff. You can click on the black line to select the kind of uh, uh, line width you guys want to use. As you can see, a series of different colors and stuff here. So I'm just going to use the the lowest line width I see here. That's that's 0 0.13 mm. That I'm actually I'm actually using currently so uh, you, you can select this one then this one is just going to just leave this one as this okay then this one is going to be nothing okay then the uncut element for the uncut element you're gonna have the uncut uh uncut fill and i want you to make this uncut fill to be nothing okay and i want you to select the uniform uncut pens select it and change this to be this zero point 13 mm okay then the transparency because we don't want the, we don't want the glass to be showing the steps okay and those on tick the transparency we don't want the transparency then keep this we don't really need do this one for now okay so when you are once you are done so click on okay and just wait for a card to process what you've done so you should be having a black and white drawing okay as you can see but uh, I need the I need the textures to actually come outside right now because uh, this is a clean black and white, okay. But I want the textures that I used in the when, when working in the three D a three D aspect of the drawing. I want the textures to actually come outside. So I'm going to right click and click on elevation settings. Then I want to select on surface cover fill foreground. I'm going to select on this, okay, and I'm going to click on OK. So as you can see, the all the textures came outside. Okay, now this is what I want to do. So this is one of the ways you guys can make your elevation stand out when you guys are working in like a CAD. Make a CAD bring out the, your elevations on black and white automatically by itself. One of the fastest way for you guys to do this drawing for the rest of the drawings. Okay, that's the rear, the rear view, the left side view, and the right side view. As you can see, we only worked for the approach view elevations. Okay. So what you want to do is I'm just going to control Z what's everything I've done. For it to actually select to change all of the elevation settings at the same time, you click on the approach view, hold down shift on your keyboard, click on the left side view, the rear view, and the right side view. Okay, so now click on the elevation settings and do the same thing I did earlier on, okay? The uniform cut pens, you want to select this and you want to select this 0 0.13, leave this one as it is, leave this one as it is then for the uncut element, you want to make this to be nothing okay? then you want the uniform uncut pens to be this, okay? then the surface color fill ground is going to be this one then for the transparency, you want to untick the transparency, okay? Then leave all this one as it is, then click on OK. So if you go to the approach view, you should be having something like black and white, the way we did earlier. As you can see. So let's look for the other, for the rest. That's the left side view. As you can see, the left side view should give us the same black and white drawing. Then the rear view, as you can see. Then the right side view. As you can see, everything is all in black and white. So this is one of the ways to do elevations in Archicad, to do automatic elevations into black and white in Archicad, okay? Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial video.